Good morning, Andrea. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I suppose very well, because obviously Andrea is with us today in the interviewing successful EPSO candidates because he is one of them. So uh, let's go straight on the job, isn't that? Uh, which means, uh, how do we start? So what we would like, Andrea, is to, uh, with your help, to go through the um, selection process, right, or EPSO, let's say, selection process, so that you can give some uh, hints or more than hints, some uh, suggestions, ideas, advice to uh, candidates on how to approach and hopefully to be as successful as you. So, start with how do you choose the competition? So, uh, what I would say, Carmen, is that it's very important that first of all you you choose a competition by obviously looking at you know your your motivation right so i mean why do you want to work uh, for the commission or for the institutions so you know what is driving you the the, the the public interest you know working for citizens and or consumers depending on your field of uh, expertise and, and then obviously uh, i would advise you know all the would be candidates to to look uh, on uh, EPSO's website and trying to, to find the most suitable competition according to uh, their profile. And, and then obviously I would suggest, you know, just, I mean, to go at as many competitions as possible, um, if, if not, you know, just to, to, to train, uh, to train and to practice, you know, first of all, the procedure, but also the various types of, uh, of tests that uh, could uh, appear. I, I would say that that's a, a very good point that you put in the first of all, right? Uh, EPSO is European Public Service Office, right? So they select people to work in the public institutions, uh, European public institutions, therefore the European Public Service, right? So we hope, we hope, that the motivation of all these candidates is to invest themselves in the public service, to invest yes. themselves for the public, um, for the European citizens, right? Yes, and yes. For you, and this is for me, absolutely, this is the sense, the meaning of applying for an EFSA competition. First yes. of all, right? Uh, then, how do you when you this as i say you are clear about this motivation then the question is how do you choose your competition now i do hear what you say and i would like to let's say nuance a little bit which is that if i wait for my right competition my perfect competition the risk is that if this is my first ever competition uh, i will be very how would say obviously afraid and anxious and i don't i will not know i would not be at ease obviously it's an exam also there are so many exams tests right so then what andrea says is that go for more competitions not necessarily the perfect one but the competitions that are let's say reasonably close to your profile or reasonably close to your motivation or domain of expertise uh then Think, hopefully, by doing this, you will learn how the process works. You will get a, a, kind of a little bit more experience, or a little bit of more ease in uh, assuming the test. And then by the time you get to the right competition, you are in the right form, right? I'm not sure, Andrea, but I'm just thinking that probably uh, the athletes do the same do the same things, right? They go to a lot of competitions here, the Olympics. Is that? Yeah. I, well, I've I've never done it myself, but I would assume that indeed that's uh, that's the case. And by the way, this is what I did myself uh, with uh, with EPSO competitions. So I tried, you know, uh, before a couple of them that you know were reasonably co close to my area of expertise. Until then, you know, I found the right one, which is indeed what then I succeeded in. Um, and then I was already, you know, uh, motivated enough and uh, um, trained, and yeah. Absolutely. So you, you mastered better or let's say your emotions because you knew what you were doing. Makes sense. Yes. So you 
Yeah, so also because, yes, and I'm saying this especially, you know, to all the emotional uh, um, guys and girls out there that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a very emotional one. So that's why it's important that, you know, in order to be able to master your own emotions, that, you know, you get used to the process and, uh, and you know, the idea of running for an EPSO competition. Absolutely. Good. So then we said you do for some competitions in order to train yourself, to master better your emotions. And then let's imagine now the right competition comes. And what is that you do first? Well, then the first thing to take care of is obviously the application. Uh, because, I mean, this is going to be crucial. And this stage of the procedure, I mean, is, uh, is, is not a face-to-face -face one. So obviously they don't know you, they don't know you what, I mean, they don't know what you have, what you have done and they don't know your profile. So you should be able to, you know, to, uh, to, to apply and to put, uh, to show off <laughs> well yes to show off without you know lying obviously this is uh, very important um, but you know emphasize all the angles that you know might be relevant for uh, the competition you are running for this is very important what I would add here is when I work these documents with my clients, so we are talking about the CV writing, we are talking about the talent screener if it's an expert competition, yes. and then we are talking about the four questions of the motivation, right? Yes. And obviously, as you said, first we do these documents, uh, I would say even without looking at the notice, because these documents speak about who you are, right? Your professional experience, your education, your motivation. Uh, so there is no, let me call it like this, there is no relation with the notice, first of all, right? And only when we finished the three documents, which means CV, um, talent screen and application for uh, motivation, then only we check the notice to see whether we do correspond and uh, hopefully we discover that we do correspond to the number. But yes. I insist exactly on uh, the, what you said is that uh, we do that only at the end and only with the purpose to check that we indeed correspond to the notice of competition and never I start from the notice towards the CV. This is no. not the right direction. Absolutely. So no. there is no point that I will copy and paste from the notice or that I will get inspiration from the yoga. Okay, right? Yes. Okay. So this is the first stage, which are the documents that you put in. And, and as we said, um, we don't know whether they will check them, whether, no, whether they will score them or however. Nevertheless, we want to do a very serious job, right? So we do them seriously. Yes, yes, yes. What's That's very important. Yes, that's very important, I would say, because indeed, I mean, uh, uh, it's really the starting point and it's what is going to condition uh, your next step.